after COVID, sports as we know it has changed. What will sports be like in institutions after they reopen? We talked to Shankar UV, director of the sports school in Bangalore, a school which is integrating academics and sports seamlessly. Hello, Dr. Shankar. Due to COVID, nobody is uh, participating in sports right now. All the sporting events have stopped. And um, I wanted to know how after institutions open, how will they manage with the new normal with and how they will ensure student safety and how will sports be conducted after this? Oh, the sports, uh, basically right now we are keeping them fit through online classes and uh, they regularly, our coaches and our fitness trainers are all in touch with the students and uh, keeping them as fit as possible. Once the uh, lockdown uh, opens up, uh, we already have sanitized our campus and uh, we will be uh, doing it on daily basis. And uh, just to give you an example, for example, uh, uh, for tennis, uh, the students have to carry their own balls. For uh, serve, they'll be using their own balls. And then for rallies, they'll be using common balls. And they will be not using the hands to pick up the ball. So uh, we will have all the uh, sanitizers, everything in the ground. At, uh, and maximum utmost care is taken. And every child's temperature is checked before they enter the court. That are the measures that we have taken. Uh, uh, that's how we have planned to open up once the regular training starts. How do you think uh, sports will change in institutions in general uh, as co-curricular? Uh, definitely it will be a new norms. It will not be like a regular training sessions. There will be lots of do's and don'ts will be there. Uh, but then we have to see to it that the children are uh, fit. Uh, what about contact sports like for example uh, where like sports like basketball and volleyball where the players have to be in contact with the ball all the time and also with each other. How do you, how will that change? What measures are being taken in sports like those? Yeah, see for uh, especially contact sports, we are waiting for the government guidelines. We have not yet uh, opened, we are waiting for the sports ministry to inform how to go about the things. As of now, we have not started any contact sports. Even as far as cricket is concerned also because they use the saliva when to shine the ball and things like that. So we have not yet started the uh, started cricket as well. So we are just waiting for the guidelines to be given by the government. As of today, we are slowly opening one game at a time. And as we open up and we will do it according to the government directives. In case of football, which is a very popular game in India, players play very close to each other. And uh, although the ball is not touched by hand, but there is still bodily contact. So what will it be like? Will there be like, will it be sanitized after every few minutes? Like, How will it change the game as we know it? See, as of today for football, what we are doing is we are telling them to carry their own balls. And uh, we use the sanitizer at regular intervals. That's what is the plan. And then uh, we will be dividing them into forwards, backs, halves, goalkeeper and we'll be doing more of skill practice and keeping them fit and uh, slowly we'll open up uh, of uh, the playing the game completely but as of today we are dividing it uh, according to the positions and uh, keeping the training on and to see that the kids are fit. So you have partnered with uh, a lot of uh, experts and famous sports person in the respective fields like uh, there's Robin Uttapa, there's Gopi Chan. So how has that been like? Yeah, that's, see, we always wanted to uh, have the best guys to be training them and to have uh, mentor the kids. Uh, we basically, the sports school uh, has come into existence a year back with the tie up with the Jain University, uh, JGI group. So we have been actually handling players for the last 28, 29 years. And uh, we just thought uh, we need to work on the grassroots. So uh, that is how the existence of sports school came in. And now we have kids as young as uh, seven years, six years training in our academy. And we have all the professionals as well. We have the beginners, we have the intermediates, and we have the advanced players. When it comes to the advanced players, we need to give them the best, whether it is international exposure, training, and uh, no, no better than uh, Gopi sir, we can have uh, Gopichan sir is one of the best in the business. So he was kind enough to uh, partner with us 
and uh, the children will get the best benefit uh, uh, to get trained for the best coaches in the business. That's how uh, Robin will be mentoring, and we have a coach, uh, uh, Mr. Niduvan, who will be handling uh, cricket. And as far as uh, tennis is concerned, we have signed up with uh, Rohan Bopanna. And uh, as far as uh, football is concerned, we have tied up with uh, Bangalore Football Club. That's the BFC. Right. And how are they contributing to the institute? See, they have. They are regular. They have a full-time coaches from all these uh, centers in our uh, system. and uh, they are coached and assessed by all these uh, members and uh, based on their uh, training and uh, when they feel the students are fit and ready to play the higher levels we send them for example from rohan bopan academy last year we had nikit immaya who won the uh, national championship in tennis in the men section thank you so much for joining us thank you very much if you like this video don't forget to share it and hit like and subscribe Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and don't miss another update from edX Live.